Hello, me old muggers. Here we are, back on the van again. Look, there it is behind me there, see? Right, let's do it. Hi, and welcome back to my Citroen Relay van build series. In today's episode, we are going to be, or we? No, me, well, I'm a yeah, I'm going to be uh, changing the rear leaf springs on my Citroen Relay. So I've discovered I'm having a little bit of a weight problem. And uh, also, incidentally, by coincidence, the van's a bit on the heavy side as well. So in order to uh, solve that, I'm going to have to upplate my uh, van. And we'll do that whole upplating thing in another uh, separate episode. Uh, but the job today in preparation for that is to change the leaf springs on the back from the standard ones that come with the van to double leaf springs and uh, the package uh, with these in has arrived which is here and uh, I thought I was just ordering a pair of double leaf springs but interestingly from the company I ordered it from it looks like it has some bump stops in there which I don't need uh, and also that looks suspiciously like two shock absorbers uh, which would be nice. I didn't realise they uh, came with it, and there's certainly no mention of the fact they come with it in the uh, in the blurb on the uh, website at all. But uh, uh, if it is, that would be all good. Anyway, let me uh, open this uh, package and let's have a look and see what we got in there. Right here we go. Yeah, so we got uh, two uh, leaf springs with uh, with double leaves. Um, these have got. Uh, big end and a small end and um, that's uh, no doubt going to become clear and obvious which way around that goes when I get the old one off. Uh, we have some new U-bolts uh, which are probably a fraction longer than the originals, some uh, replacement bump stops which like I said I'm not going to need and uh, yeah it looks like it's come with a couple of shock absorbers as well. Uh, I'll have a look at the originals on there because the van has it, hasn't actually done that many miles so uh, whether I shall bother to change those or keep these for a rainy day um, I don't know I'll have a look at the condition of the ones that are on there first anyway first job to do of course is uh, let's just stand up got my jack ready here uh, got my wheel brace ready first job is to uh, crack those uh, wheel nuts and then uh, get this lifted up and uh, see what we're doing. Um, because this obviously is gonna be a, an, an identical process both sides, I'll just record uh, one side as a sort of step-by-step -step guide of what I'm doing. I won't bother then to film the other side because of course it's gonna be exactly the same. Right, let's crack these wheel nuts. Well, the proper jack point there seems to be right on the very front of the uh, front of the double leaf spring now, which is uh, handy, seeing that's what I want to change, isn't it? So uh, I think a couple of axle stands under there, definitely for a bit of belt and braces on that, is uh, going to be the way. Right, I do kind of want these axle stands out of the way so I can actually work. So I think what I've done is I'm going to put one uh, there just on the, uh, on the side of the vehicle. And I did have a second one, which uh, I'm just going to pop underneath the uh, tow bar at the back there because of course that's a, a pretty solid point uh, certainly if the jack fails um, enough time for me to clamber out uh, from underneath uh, should be fine okay so my first job to do is to uh, take this um, uh, air suspension back off again uh, so just removing these uh, four four bolts I've got three out already just doing the, the last one here I never had a set of ratchet spanners before. I bought these new for doing this job with uh, with a ratchet on uh, on that end. And uh, oh, I have to tell you, I wish I'd bought a set of these years ago. How easy is this? So definitely, uh, definitely a good purchase for for van building is a simple set of ratchet spanners. Right. It's going to be easier to take that off when I take the bottom plate off. So I'm going to. Uh, uh, remove the u-bolts first so under here is where we are now girls because these have already been off once when i did the airbags hopefully i'm not gonna bust my face off trying to get these undone like i did the first time round yeah they're coming off 
much easier. Right, now what we need to do is uh, just support the weight of the uh, axle now. Because uh, of course when I did these uh, airbags I had it up on um, ramps. So the uh, the axle was basically still on its wheels. But uh, now, we're, uh, now we're off. We just need to support the weight of the, uh, the axle here. So that we can get these bolts out and it not to uh, all collapse on us. Well, I'm glad it's going to come with new U-bolts because uh, I'm fighting with these ones a bit. Anyway, we are just about there. Get that one out, and now this should slide out like so. Like that. Actually, that can just sit in there like that. I think we don't need to do any more than that. Right then. So. Next job is to uh, undo the two ends. All right, let's see what bolts we need for those. Right, okay. Uh, the rear one is the uh, first one to take off. And uh, size-wise for these bolts, you've got one of these star drive uh, ones on, on this side. Uh, but I found actually a, uh, a 19 mil uh, socket uh, will we'll go over that okay and, and hold that. And this side, you're going to need a 24 mil, but you're going to need a, a deep socket. So uh, before you're going to start this, make sure you've got a deep 24 uh, to uh, to go on uh, on here. Um, but of course, this is going to be as tight as a bitch. So uh, first things first is to uh, give that a, a wire brush and a squirt of WD-40. Then uh, go and enjoy a cup of tea while that soaks in, and then that should come off. Uh, a bit easier all being well. Right, okay. A little later. Definitely the WD-40 and the wire brush made that considerably easier. Right, let's grab a hammer, see if that will come out. That's a monster bolt, isn't it? Look at that bad boy. Okay, right. Let's move to the front. Right, this one is exactly the same process as the one at the front. 
The only difference here is, of course, it's a bit tighter because my jack is on the jack point right in front there. And my water tanks are up here on this side. So it's going to be a bit of a fight and a struggle to get in there. So um, I, I'll put the camera down to do that because actually taking the bolt out is exactly the same as the other side, isn't it? It's just going to take a bit longer because of the uh, tightness of the space. So uh, I'll come back to you when that one is out and uh, we're ready to actually try and get this... Uh, this old leaf spring uh, out. Okay, so I got that uh, uh, front uh, bolt out. There he is there. And uh, sorry, I did just uh, get ahead of myself just a little bit. So I've just stopped and give you a chance to uh, catch up. You'll notice the spring's missing now. What I had to do was the uh, shock absorber, just uh, undid that at the top there, just to uh, allow the, the axle to, uh, to drop. And then what I did is, uh, you can see under here, I just got a little uh, bottle jack, the one from the car, and just put under there, and uh, just had that up taking the uh, taking the weight, so to speak. And uh, and then once the shock absorber was out, just uh, slowly let that down uh, to the bottom of the bottle jack. And uh, that gave me enough space then to uh, pull uh, the leaf spring out from the from the back. Uh, and that uh, came out uh, reasonably well. And uh, the things to notice then here when we put the new one in is uh, if I just turn that, so that's the that's the top. So underneath here, that, there's a little uh, there's a little lug there. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but uh, there's a little sort of pin lug on the bottom there, which uh, has to. Uh, locate into the middle bit there and that stops it sliding and shimmying about um, so that's the important bit when the new one goes in make sure we're correctly located into that point so let's go and uh, get the new one and see if that will slide in as easy as uh, that one slid out right i can see already lining the uh the old one against the new one here look um, my my two holes are in alignment there but if I go across the other side my new one is ever so slightly longer than the old one so what I think is probably going to need to be done is this connection at the back here let me just come back underneath this connection at the back here where that was sitting has another bolt up above look which allows these to uh, to move so I'm probably just gonna have to loosen that one to uh, get these two to line up correctly ah, all fun and games in it but uh, hey that's what we got to do that's what we got to do right right so I just slid the uh, the new one in and uh, that pin is uh, located uh, down in there so now we just need to uh, refix it so I think I'll try and get the the front bolt in uh, first and then uh, then sort the the back one out afterwards okay by way of an update we've uh we're, we're getting there so i've got the uh the rear one in uh i to, did have to undo uh both of these bolts to uh to to get that to uh line up um getting that uh pin in the middle there was a bit uh, a bit awkward I had to actually take the shock absorber right off uh, at the bottom here um, to allow the axle to, you know, just to shimmy very slightly. And then with a good push and a tug, managed to uh, get that lined up and that little uh, lug down into the hole. Uh, so then what we did is uh, once that was, uh, was in the hole, just with the little bottle jack here, just uh, pumped it up to hold it in place so the bugger didn't come back out again. And uh, now we're just refitting the airbag and the U-bolts. So I've uh, fitted the, the airbag at the top again here. And uh, I've got my U-bolts, um, you know, underneath the, the bracket there. It's all a bit loose still at the moment, but we're just uh, just doing the uh, the U-bolts the here. And, uh, and then the, the last thing will be these uh, little nuts uh, under here on the bottom of the airbag. That's just still allowing that to... Uh, to slide like that at the moment um, so what we're doing right now in actual fact for uh, you know full cock up disclosure and everything is I started putting these u-bolts on 
and uh, they got nylock nuts which makes that uh, lovely to do up as you can imagine and guess who for forgot to put the washers on <laughs> yep me so uh, we're just taking those back off again pop the washers back in uh, this didn't come with washers so I'm going to use the originals that, that uh, were on there uh, but I do like to have a washer in there and, uh, and then get this uh, tightened up so uh, that's what we're doing now and uh, uh, got the shock absorber back on as you can see uh, young Harry here, uh, don't let me come down, there he is, <laughs> is uh, just uh, getting those bolts out that side. And then we get these washers on, get that tightened up, get these bolts back in. And then uh, I think we can actually get the wheel on then. And uh, what I've done is I've just uh, just kind of nipped these at this end and at the far end. And then of course what you have to do is uh, get the wheel back on get it down onto its uh, onto its wheel and then come and tighten these up afterwards um, rather than uh, rather than now so uh, that's the process we're going to do right okay there we go we got the wheel back on and I've tightened up the front and back and with uh, without any air in the air suspension uh, I haven't even done that yet I got uh, I got a decent gap there now look at that marvelous right Let's move on to uh, number two. Well, like I said before, I'm not going to bother filming uh, number two because it's exactly the same as uh, number one. It's just doing the whole process over again. So I hope that was interesting and informative if you're changing your suspension. Uh, the reason why I've changed that to the double leaf springs is because, like I said earlier, I do need to upplate my van. And uh, I spoke to a company uh, which I will go through the details in a separate video of, but uh, essentially with the double leaf springs and the air suspension, I am going to get a lovely whole thousand kilos, would you believe? And I can upplate this to uh, four and a half ton, which is going to be absolutely cracking. Uh, but anyway, enough on that now. We'll talk about that in another dedicated video. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey.